Okay, Jason, so mm. I've got a bunch of speakers here. Down on the floor behind me, there's a UMS1 Sub. Mm. I've got a UP Junior, a UPJ, a UMS1P, and a little MM4 XP. Mm -hmm. What makes all of these special? Oh, okay, these are the, the my boxes that we know and love. Uh, the big difference here is these are the intelligent DC versions. Now, what that's all about is that Meyer have looked at a way of reducing cable costs uh, and installation costs by emulating the kind of things we do with 100 volt and 70 volt line systems, which is basically, you know, cabling uh, cheaply and quickly to the boxes. Now, these are still the, the powered boxes that we know and love from Meyer, but the power is actually coming from this, the MPS 488. Mm -hmm. So, effectively, with five lines of copper, you get signal and power. Uh, to your boxes cheaply, easily, and uh, very efficiently. And, and presumably, different uh, cable gauges would allow you to run different distances, and you can get you can get up to some pretty long distances yeah, on yeah, this. Exactly. Um, now, the other nice thing is that because uh, we're not uh, amplifying remotely, a mm. we don't need amp racks. Nope. This this can run up to eight boxes, mm -hmm. and it's a lot smaller than mm -hmm. the equivalent in amplifiers would yeah. be. Um, and B, we don't have any of the things like uh, signal loss over distance that's mm. associated with low impedance systems. Mm. And we don't, as you say, need to use transformers mm -hmm. um, and have you know, the problems that are inherent to, yeah. to uh, voltage driven systems. Yeah. Um, I really like that you know, the intelligent DC UPJ sounds exactly like the normal UPJ. mains driven yep. UPJ. It absolutely does, and I think that's quite an achievement. And they all mm. do, and mm. there's a sub as well, mm. and I think that's amazing mm. for a 48 volt sub. <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. Now, it is also worth mentioning for the little MM4 XP, mm. which really, we're a big fan of yeah, this one. It really this, kicks this it is, out. This yeah. is an amazing little box. Yeah. Um, if you do just need to run one of these, mm. there is a single uh, channel power supply available, mm. which will run just one of those as well. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about connectivity. On the back of the MPS 488, we've got eight XLR inputs. Now you can actually join or parallel the uh, each XLR input to the previous input. So what we've done here, uh, just for testing purposes, is we've run an input into XLR1, which we can then change to XLR2, 3, 4, etc., etc., etc. Meaning you can send one signal to all eight, or you can send eight. And as long as we signals, line up the front yeah. of the boxes all correctly. Yeah, so if you need to do all uh, processing delays, uh, different EQs, you do that before. Uh, also, uh, worth noting, you can actually have uh, Myers RE RMS system uh, on this box as well. So you can it. monitor it as well. Yeah. Um, one of the things that really impressed me, apart from that, yes, they do sound exactly like their, uh, their normal counterparts, is that they're um, incredibly phase coherent and really well level matched. Yeah, look, mm. and that's not to say that you're going to get the same level out of an MM4 mm. as you will out of you know, a UP Junior, for mm. instance. But uh, you get what I reckon is an appropriate difference in level. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, for the size of the cabinet. So if these are your, your fills somewhere and you're using these for an under balcony, mm. you're not going to have to work really hard to get your level matching right mm. as long as your actual system design and your, your box allocation yeah. and things like that is is, is well managed. Mm. You know, this is this is a nice easy sort of adjunct to that. Okay, now there's a couple of different output cabling options. Yeah, we've got the EN3 connectors, which um, are, are basically, a, it's a locking sort of, it's mm. almost like a bayonet kind of lock, um, or you can get uh, Phoenix connectors, mm. and, uh, and you can get those options on both the speaker cabinets and on the power supply. So you can go Phoenix or EN3 or a mixture, mm. um, depending on what your application is. The thing I like about the EN3 is they lock. The thing mm. I like about the Phoenix is it's very much easier to field terminate yeah. that. You just screw it in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You need one screwdriver and you're done. Um, so yeah, a couple of different options and uh, certainly very flexible. Okay, so intelligent DC, looking at giving you a high quality result with ease of installation, lower costs and just less mucking about. I'd say it does it. Yeah.